going to try to use early in the fight, presumably. Well, the big challenge for Wolf. Ward in the white trunks, Neri in the black, and already Shane Neri starts taking the rhythm as rhythm tries to mount the Neri tries just, to mount this attack. At, at all points, keep hitting him 15 times with that hook uppercut. Finally, you put some power, and it's a new story. Hey, Ward's alive. Here. Promise to start much better. This isn't going to be any 33 punch round. For he starts to come on and take the last 30 seconds of the round, but Ward lands a counter left hook. What a great round one. Whoa. Cross, an uppercut, a body shot. Those are all power punches. He would do better to even jab, out jab. When he throws it, that's why it's hard to defend against him. A more controlled version of round number one. There's a good left hook. Another uppercut, this time the left hand by. Ward is a long way from home, and the one thing you want to do is never try coasting. But it raises the question, can he fight at this pace for 12 rounds? Vicious body shots from Neri. His legs back, although Neri continues to pound away. Two big misses by Neri. Waiting for Neri to punch himself out. Now he's coming back. Now he has regained. Then the other guy comes back. And now Neri comes back again. And now Ward. As although they're not quite in the same class. Yeah, they're not as fighters. Skilled. They're not as skilled as Pereira. Right, but... If this fight go on and on and on, the jab can be the telling point. While he's on the ropes, you don't get him back up. Make him throw some with your defense your defense set. Make him throw some. Step back. Step back. Up and cut. And again. Mickey Ward lands a left and a right. Not at all. Near is close. Elbows to his sides, he get hit with a good one, he blocks it. Ward hurt Neary with 38. Two rounds apiece. I thought Mickey Wood clearly won the first round. But then Shane Neary came on. Moves around better. Ward had to win. And over the top by Ward. And there's that uppercut. But in the meantime, this is a pitch battle. As if the belt. Win, you gotta be something that you're not. Straight right hand like San Antonio in September of 1992. Yeah, you come down on and you get a little win, you go to the toe, but you go back to what you Water standing back, waiting to counter that right. Ward is going to have to do something dramatic. Let him have a good right hand. It's that left hook you got to worry about. Side, come back with a body shot. Two of those body shots. Here with his best right hand, as he did about 15. Neary's still handling him pretty well. And as George Foreman points out, going to Neary's body. And it's his left hook to the body that won oh, the fight against Green and Shane Neary. In a gym, I thought he clearly read rounds five and six. Three judges at ringside, one from Germany, one from Great Britain. Neary's body shots are blocked, the left hook to the body. What's your head today? Now going back upstairs to make it Ward find him. Follow me around, find me. Oh, big uppercut by Ward. Look, and another uppercut. Goes to the body with the left hook. Lands the uppercut again. Neary down for the second time. Mickey Vance over to touch gloves with George Foreman. Just like one heavyweight to us round, he cut it loose, and that became the difference. Once he was able to get those Irish Mickey Ward.